Welcome back to Jay's Jeep and Classic Car Channel, the channel that provides video resources for your build and maintaining your classic cars, your Jeeps, and your everyday drivers. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and the like button down below. Today, I just want to do a real quick video on selection of 6 volt starter solenoids. I've recently learned this lesson, and so I just wanted to pass that on to other folks that it might help. This is my original 6 volt starter solenoid. If you can kind of see, it's round. I, I had suspected it may not be working right. So I went out and looked, and it was really kind of hard to figure out exactly what I needed. So I ended up getting this, which is, they're different. And so this is a Ford. Uh, I don't know if it really makes a difference or not. But here's the main thing that you need to know and and or help troubleshoot for you on this one so this side would have connect to the battery this side to the starter this right here goes to a starter button this one right here has six volts on it so it was always live and so when i would push the button it would ground it out which causes that solenoid to actuate and send six volts to the starter so that's how this one works this one works different. Again, you have your 6 volt battery, 6 volt to the starter, but this has no voltage on it. And so I hooked it up to the start button and nothing happened. And I had no idea what was going on. It needs a 6 volt supply to actuate uh, the switch in there. So uh, I do have an ignition switch in my Jeep and that does supply 6 volts. So when you turn the key, 6 volts is sent to the post. It actuates and sends 6 volts to your starter. That's the difference between the two. So take the time to figure out which one you have. And to do that, you would take a multimeter, make sure that these are uh, you got the battery in, it's charged, all that good stuff, and this is all connected in but you would take the black side of your multimeter and put it on the negative side of your battery and then touch the red side to these posts. And whatever that reads, when you have it set on direct current uh, or direct voltage, it will be what type you have. If it reads zero, then you have one that you need to supply six volts to. If it reads six volts, then you just have to have one that connects to a ground. You might have to ask some questions I never saw that specified on any of the specs anywhere so I'm not sure how you would really know that but maybe you call and ask and they can tell you I'm not sure or you can try it out and if you get the wrong one now you know how to fix it this one I kind of ended up figuring out that it was only giving like four volts to the ba uh, starter which I think is what was causing me issues this one puts a straight through 6.5 volts so I'm thinking that this was my problem the whole time so anyway I hope that really does help you I appreciate y'all watching y'all take care it's time for supper 